The Majestic class battleships were designed in the 1890s and served into the early 20th century. Nine ships were built in this class to provide the Royal Navy with powerful and modern battleships to maintain naval supremacy. They had a displacement of around 14,900 tons and a length of approximately 421 feet. Their armament included a main battery of four 12-inch guns in twin turrets fore and aft, a secondary battery of 12 6-inch guns, and smaller guns and torpedo tubes for close-range defense. The armor consisted of a belt up to 9 inches thick, deck armor up to 4 inches thick, and heavily armored gun turrets and barbettes. They were capable of reaching speeds of up to 17 knots. Notable ships in the class included HMS Majestic, the lead ship, HMS Caesar, HMS Hannibal, HMS Illustrious, HMS Jupiter, HMS Magnificent, HMS Mars, HMS Prince George, and HMS Victorious. The Majestic class battleships served primarily in the home fleet and Mediterranean fleet. By World War I, they were considered obsolete, but were still used for secondary roles such as coastal defense and training. Most were decommissioned and scrapped shortly after the war, though some remained in service in various capacities for a few more years. The Majestic-class battleships represented a significant step forward in naval architecture and firepower at the time of their commissioning, showcasing the Royal Navy's commitment to maintaining its dominance on the seas. HMS Majestic, the lead ship of the Majestic-class battleships, had an eventful service history. Here is a summary of her fate. HMS Majestic was launched in 1895 and commissioned in 1895 for service in the Royal Navy. She primarily served in the Channel Fleet and Mediterranean Fleet during her early years. When World War I broke out, HMS Majestic was already considered obsolete, but she was still utilized in various capacities. In 1914, HMS Majestic was assigned to the 7th Battle Squadron, providing support for the British Expeditionary Force and patrolling the English Channel. She was later transferred to the Dardanelles campaign in 1915, where she provided naval gunfire support during the Gallipoli landings. On May 27, 1915, while anchored off Cape Helles, Gallipoli, HMS Majestic was torpedoed by the German U-boat U-21. The torpedo struck her on the port side, causing a massive explosion. HMS Majestic capsized and sank within seven minutes, taking 49 crew members with her. Most of the crew were rescued by nearby ships. The wreck of HMS Majestic lies off the coast of Gallipoli and remains a site of historical interest. The Majestic-class battleships influenced several subsequent classes of pre-dreadnought battleships in the Royal Navy. Notable among these were the Canopus-class, which were designed to be faster and slightly smaller, incorporating lessons learned and technological advances, the Formidable-class, with increased armor and firepower, the London-class, featuring further enhancements in protection and armament, and the Duncan class, focused on higher speed to counter fast battleships being built by other navies. While the Majestic class battleships themselves were not directly sold or transferred to other navies, their design principles and features influenced battleship construction globally. The basic concepts of the Majestic class, such as heavy main armament, significant armor protection, and a balanced design, were mirrored in other nations' battleship designs. For example, the Japanese Navy's Shikishima-class battleships were influenced by British designs, including the Majestic-class, as Japan sought to modernize its fleet with the help of British shipbuilders. Similarly, the Russian Perisvet-class battleships showed some influence from British designs, particularly in terms of layout and armament configuration. These ships, although not direct copies, benefited from the design principles established by the Majestic-class, emphasizing the balanced approach to firepower, protection, and speed that characterized late 19th century battleship development. Now do you want to start a fun and exciting project? If yes, go to endas.com and purchase or download the 3D printable model files for HMS Majestic. Ensure you have all necessary STL files that represent the different parts of the ship. Next, use 3D modeling software, such as Blender, Tinkercad, or Fusion 360, to open and inspect the model files. Scale the model to the desired size. For a 1 meter long model, determine the scale factor, based on the original size of the model. If the original model is designed for a smaller scale, uniformly scale it up, to reach 1 meter in length. Use slicing software such as Cura, Prusa Slicer, 
or simplify 3D to prepare the model for printing. Depending on the size of your 3D printer's build volume, you may need to divide the model into smaller, printable sections. Ensure each segment has flat surfaces or alignment features for easy assembly. Adjust print settings for the best balance between quality and print time, focusing on settings like layer height, infill density, and support structures. Choose a suitable filament for your project, such as PLA, for ease of printing and finishing, or ABS for greater durability. Begin printing the individual segments, which may take several hours or even days, depending on the complexity and number of parts. Remove any supports and clean up the printed parts, sanding and smoothing edges where necessary. Use adhesives like super glue or epoxy to assemble the sections, ensuring proper alignment and secure bonds. For large sections, you might need additional reinforcement using internal structures or rods to ensure stability. Use filler putty to fill in any gaps between segments, then sand smooth after the putty dries. Apply a primer coat to the assembled model. Once dry, paint the model according to the historical color scheme of HMS Majestic. Add finer details such as railings, rigging, and decals as needed. Create or purchase a display base to mount your model, using a wooden or acrylic base. Add any final touches, such as nameplates or protective coatings, to enhance the presentation of your model. Engage with online communities and forums dedicated to 3D printing and scale modeling for valuable advice and troubleshooting tips. Focus on precision at each step for the best results, and always follow safety guidelines when handling 3D printers, adhesives, paints, and other tools. By following these steps, you should be able to build a detailed and impressive 1-meter-long model of HMS Majestic. Enjoy the process and the rewarding experience of creating a scale model.